multiple sclerosis, is a immune disease that attacks the central nervous system. So what happens is that one's immunity, the mechanism by which we get defense against bacteria and viruses, accidentally turns against one's own nervous system. The diagnosis of MS is not straightforward because there is not a single test that you can do to confirm the diagnosis. It actually is built on many levels from different pieces of data, and it takes a little bit of experience to define what MS is. It's also easy to confuse it with other things. One can have problems with the balance, vertigo, trouble speaking, occasionally problems going to the bathroom. All of these unexplained symptoms can be attributed in MS patients to disease activity. The most common presenting symptom of multiple sclerosis is disturbance in vision in one eye. People complain of blurry vision or even a hole in their visual field associated with some pain in that eye. There is also some sometimes weakness that can either affect one arm or an arm and a leg or both legs. Occasionally, there is numbness. It's almost like an arm is asleep, but it just won't wake up for days on end. There are other manifestations, but these three are probably the most common. The way we treat multiple sclerosis is to target the immune system to make that attack less likely to happen in the future. But some attacks leave behind problems, and so that generates these relapses where patients lose function, strength, weakness, numbness, problems with the vision. And usually these attacks are followed by some degree of recovery that we then have to figure a way to help and, and alleviate. Nobody knows what causes MS. People think there may be a virus, maybe smoking, maybe low vitamin D or sunlight, but no one really knows what the actual cause of MS is. There is a genetic component. It's more common in Northern Europe and Seattle and the Pacific Northwest because of their preponderance of Northern European heritage has a higher incidence of MS than anywhere else in the world. So if they happen to know someone who is very disabled from MS, that does not mean that that same thing will happen to them too. Multiple sclerosis, unfortunately, does not have a cure yet, but there are treatments. These treatments are lifelong, at least as we understand them right now. Hopefully someday we'll come up with a cure. <laughs>